Hello again, it's Time Lord 12, and I'm here to review Matt Smith's 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I actually just got it in the mail today, and the package it came in, obviously, which most of you already know, um, this is what it came in. <laughs> and I've already taken all the out of it out of its little inside case, put the batteries in to save us time, and not bore you with all the details. And this is obviously with the new Doctor Who logo because as we all know Stephen Moffat has taken over and um, you know personally I think he's gone wrong on some things but we'll work on that in another video we're gonna be focusing just on the review of Matt Smith's I love Dr. Screwdriver so <clears throat> here it is here's the bad boy itself what can I say you know it's pretty cool <laughs> Um, there's just words that can describe this are just awesome, you know, and I use that word a lot, but I mean it. And it is definitely a little bit more flashy, well, a lot more flashy. And I think that's what Moffat was going for, obviously, as we all know, because he, you know, redid the TARDIS, uh, you know, the different, he's brought back other villains, you know, a new screwdriver, you know, I know he's being very flashy about stuff. Because he wants to make his era very memorable. He doesn't want to ride off the coattails of Davies. I'll get to that in another video eventually. But <clears throat> this is it. Matt Smith's 11th Doctor Screwdriver. Let's just get to the how-to part of this. Uh, as we all know, his extends and everything like that. But there are two buttons right here in the black. It's going to be hard to see. I apologize because my camera is a piece of crap. There are two buttons here. The top one, which extends it and the bottom one which makes the noises. Now the bottom one only makes the noises for when it's in the closed down mode as I like to call it. And you know that's just like the last one you know and then uh, when you extend it you put in the extender mode you actually have to go down to the bottom of it and there's a little lid right here you just pop it open and you push the red button and it works as so and personally I like that a lot because as you've seen in the Doctor Who series he actually uses it like that numerous times now he doesn't actually have to pull the lid down uh, you know he'll just push it down like this but they're getting very close with it and I like that a lot because it's like you're actually the doctor and um, with the last one the tenth one you didn't have that you would have to like put your hand over it and just push the button on the side and put your thumb on it like you were pushing it. But that this is just very good in my opinion and I believe that is a really good job. Period. <laughs> um, now the part I know you're probably all waiting for are the sounds and to see if I got lucky with one of the Easter egg ones as I like to call it that makes the two different noises and I did. I got very lucky and I am ecstatic. I actually ordered this one off of Amazon again, but I didn't get it from Underground Toys. I got it from a company out in California because I am based in America. And, it, and in my opinion, I believe they got the leftover ones from uh, the Underground Toys and the ones that made the extra sounds, and they've been selling them ever since. I know for a fact that if you order it from Underground Toys, you're not gonna. It's most likely not gonna make those noises. I could be wrong, but I've seen other people say theirs don't even make it and they've got it from Underground Toys. So I'm going to show you the noises. I'm going to do it in the extension mode. It's a little bit easier for me. So here's the two noises you hear all the time on the TV series. And the second one. And all you gotta do is just push the buttons and it works. You know, when I first got this today and I opened it up and I was listening to the sounds it was making, I didn't think it was close enough to the TV series, but more and more that I listened to it, I think they did a really good job with it. They could have done better with the sound. It sounds a little cheap, uh, but definitely what I'm about to show you overrides that. Now, I'm gonna do it in extension mode again and I'm gonna show you the other two sounds it makes. So the first one, uh, all you gotta do is press the button three times and hold it on the floor. Oops, let me do it again. Uh, 
And the second one, the second Easter egg noise it makes, all you have to do is press it twice and hold on the third. How cool is that? <laughs> it's like a little Easter egg. I think that's just awesome. Uh, the first one, the first Easter egg noise, sounds like the Sonic Screwdriver is broken or having trouble or just being fidgety, which we've all seen it can do in all the different series. It just does that. And that's cool because if you're in an acting group like myself, that is awesome. You don't have to rely on getting another sound. It does it by itself. All you have to do is just press it a couple times and it works. The second one sounds more like it's a laser opening a door, the best way I can describe it. And that's cool too. It's just another, you know, ammo in your ammunition. It's just another noise that you can make your screwdriver make. I love little things like that, and I am just lucky enough to have it and to make that noise. Now to the cons section, as I like to call it, where it has some problems. My main one and I know people have probably said this before, but this is my main problem I have with it, is that the buttons in the black here for when it's in the closed mode, they're too close. Because the top one extends it, and the bottom one makes the noises when it's closed. And they're just too close. And if you don't have super skinny bone fingers, it's going to be kind of hard and frustrating sometimes, because if you want to make the noise you might hit the button that extends it and then that button doesn't work anymore to make the noise. That can just get a little frustrating sometimes and you might accidentally hit it. All they could have done is just taken the noise button and dropped it down a fraction of a hair, just a little bit further down, and it would have been fine. You, I think people would have been ecstatic and happy with it. But it just is it's annoying and I've already seen it being annoying and it's hit, you know, I've accidentally when I want to make noise I hit the extension that's annoying another thing another one of the other problems I have with it it's too flashy and I know probably Stephen Moffat is going for something like that because he's trying to make his own era of Doctor Who but it's just too flashy you know granted now that I have it in my hands I do like it it is a good screwdriver but it's just flashy you know and I know it fits Matt Smith's character and personality and stuff like that but you know it, it's a screwdriver you know I know it's his faithful screwdriver but it's just too flashy and on top of the TARDIS completely being redone and multiple other things, it's they didn't really need to do that. Another problem I have with the screwdriver is when it's in extension mode and closed mode, the claws right here are very loose. And, you know, that just to me shows cheapness. And I don't know if Underground Toys is any better, but I'm pretty sure it comes from the same place. So, you know it's just loose and that's not good in my opinion a little bit more just a tiny bit more money and it would have been fine um, you know so when you're enclosed that when you're open just be careful don't throw it don't you know throw it at people don't give it to your dog and run away don't run over a car whatever you do with it just be very careful with it and even when it's in the closed mode it's still loose so you have to be very careful with it because you will break it and it won't look very nice you know so a little extra time and money goes a long long way and you know that's pretty much all I have to say about it it's awesome and I'm definitely going to be using it in future skits anything to do with Doctor Who and with the new Doctor Who skit coming out for the schizophrenics so it's definitely going to be used I would have to say it's a good product and a good screwdriver you know I paid 30 bucks for it I think that's a little excessive but it's still a good product and you know just a one more con thing before I have to go I've noticed that with the craftsmanship on it it's not really that great it shows the lines where it's all put together especially in the white there it shows the lines where it's been put together the parts come together and same in the black and it just shows cheapness in my opinion and they could have done a lot better job with it much better job with it and you know when you just look at it you know you can see stuff like that and you're like you know you could have just spent a little bit more time with it for the money that I'm buying it for so overall like I said it's a good it's a good prop it's not a toy it's a prop and yeah we're definitely gonna be using it and I'm definitely gonna be using it and I'm gonna enjoy it so I hope you enjoyed this um, you know write to me what you thought about it comments or anything like that check out the schizophrenics 
please we need your we would appreciate your help just go to my page they're my friend I'm subscribed to them uh, go right in subscribe to the schizophrenics add friends just see our videos tell us what you think tell us if we're on the right path or if we're just completely morons you know um, we want to hear what you think and as a little incentive like I said in the last one you know we're gonna be doing a Doctor Who skit and I'm ecstatic and it's gonna be coming out the second week or first week of June so go there I know I know everyone will like it you know we have everything that makes anything funny at least we think so so hope you enjoyed this I'm gonna definitely do more videos I am definitely ordering more screwdrivers I know the third one just got released so I'm probably gonna get that and I'm looking for the masters if you have any hints or where I can get the masters let me know I would greatly appreciate it might give you a hug you never know and uh, just let me know what you think and I hope you all had a great time and enjoy your day or night or whatever <laughs> And I will see you later.